Um, so we again have our Padlet, uh, and then we have some uh, a few wrap up things, including information about an evaluation. And then we have some information about our next host, which is going to be the University of Rochester. And let me share my screen to show the Padlet. Okay, so we do have our Padlet for today of, that people have been adding to. So talking about three days of great presentations, I agree. I think we had a really good round of uh, presenters. Um, Hopefully at some point in the future, we'll be able to do some of these things uh, at Ohio State in person at a future boot camp. But I think uh, the virtual tours went pretty well. Uh, people are eager, eager to share what they learned uh, about to other liaisons with the sciences. Uh, hearing about OER collaborations, uh, Jim and Bart were awesome. Yes, they always are. I've heard them talk about Chimera many times. Uh, Simone did not realize LaTeX had been around quite that uh, amount of time. Uh, yeah, I, I wasn't quite aware it came went as far back as the 70s either. Uh, information about mathematicians being funny. Yeah, they can uh, be pretty funny. Uh, and uh, free course stuff, librarians as partners. Uh, so all sorts of great comments. Um, we are going to uh, share these things on our Great Lakes Science Bootcamp website, and I will also uh, at some point uh, share YouTube videos of all of the segments during the bootcamp. Um, we do have to spend some time trying to make sure that the captioning is correct, so uh, it won't be is within the next week or so, but eventually we will have those available and we will send uh, out a uh, email to all the registrants. Uh, so look out for that as well. But again, we definitely appreciate all the great feedback over the past three days and we will share our Padlets. Uh, our next step is to, I'm going to turn it over to Joe Payne, who is going to briefly tell us about our evaluation and then we're going to have somebody from Rochester uh, talk about the upcoming boot camp next summer. Hi everybody, um, just really quick, we have put together a quick evaluation for everyone. You will be getting a follow-up email soon. Um, Anna's going to post the links to that evaluation in the chat, so if anybody wants to start filling it out now, um, please go ahead. We welcome your feedback. And there will also be a second link to a form that you can fill out if you're interested in volunteering to help with the planning team for an upcoming boot camp. And so if you're interested in that after you see the great video that Danny's that we're going to show about Rochester, um, please go ahead and fill that out. So I see that Anna's got those in the chat and thank you for all being here and for your feedback. We appreciate it. We will also send the evaluation out to all the registrants in case people uh, weren't able to make it at the very end. I am going to uh, allow uh, one of the Rochester hosts to share. I'm here, Adua. And you should now have the authority to share. Okay. I have nothing to share. I'm I'm Adua, the uh, science and health sciences uh, librarian for RIT. My colleague, Sue Cardinal, who has initiated um, starting the uh, 2022 Upstate New York um, Great Lakes Science Bootcamp, uh, was, was un is unable to attend, but she has, she created a video. I'm just gonna be very brief, just to sort of reiterate some of the things that has been mentioned in the video and also, a uh, survey was created where uh, volunteers are being asked for. I'm one of four members of the planning committee. We're just starting out. Uh, the other members are myself, Sue Cardinal, Hillary Wong from Cortland, and Amanda McCormick from SUNY Buffalo. So we're four members right now, but hopefully um, more people might join us. Um, I attended my first science boot camp back in 2013. 
I went to uh, the University of, Bo University of Colorado in Boulder. Uh, they had their science boot camp West. And when I came back, I told Sue about my great experience. So that's why I, I, she asked me to uh, be involved in her, uh, with her committee. So uh, the idea is that the uh, 2022 Great Lakes Science Bootcamp will be held virtually for two and a half days, <clears throat> featuring presentations by scientists and researchers from Rochester and upstate New York. And for those who don't know where Rochester is, we're located on the shores of Lake Ontario in between Buffalo and Syracuse. And we're the third largest city in New York State with a population of 200,000. And we're known for Kodak, Bashalom, Xerox, Imaging Science, University of Rochester, Wegmans, a grocery store chain, and uh, RIT. And we have uh, six colleges and universities in the area. Uh, it's too early now to tell you uh, who, we, who we're going to invite to speak, but we've been sort of uh, brainstorming about the research that's going on in our area involving butterflies and bees, solar cells, a laser lab for energetics, patents, data science, stars, COVID, a lot of virus research going on, Great Lakes research and the geology of upstate New York and more. So my message uh, to you from Sue is that, Sue Cardno is that um, if you're interested in learning more about upstate New York science and in helping us plan, please consider joining our planning committee. Thank you. Okay, now I will share our video and I will also, uh, if somebody could put Sue's email in chat, I would appreciate that. I will do that uh, right now. Thank you. And I will share our video. Hello, I'm Sue Cardinal from the University of Rochester. And I wanted to let you know that in 2022, the Great Lakes Science Boot Camp will be held virtually and it will be organized um, by librarians in upstate New York and included an immersive two and a half day program featuring educational presentations on scientific and medical topics. And we will feature scientists and researchers from the Rochester area. Rochester, New York is located in between Buffalo and Syracuse, New York. With a population of 200,000, we are the third largest city in New York. The city is located on the shores of beautiful Lake Ontario. We are known for Kodak, Bausch & Lomb, Xerox, Imaging Science. The University of Rochester has become a prominent employer in the area with healthcare becoming a prominent occupation. We're also known as the birthplace of the grocery store chain Wegmans. So here is our brag book. If you'd like to know more at our cham Rochester Chamber of Commerce. This land is the ancestral and unceded territory of the Anon Dowaga, or the people of the Great Hill. In English, they're known as the Seneca people, the keeper of the Western Door. And together with Mohawk, Cayuga, uh, Onondaga, Oneida, and Tuscarora, the Seneca make up the sovereign Haudenosaunee Confederacy. We pay respects to their elders past and present. Um, to learn more about them, see uh, HTTPS colon slash slash ganondagan.org. So there are a number of universities and colleges. You know, RIT is one of them. Uh, Roberts Wesleyan College, Nazareth, uh, St. John Fisher, SUNY Brockport, and University of Rochester, where I am from. So we're hoping to find researchers from all these different areas. There's also a wonderful Rochester Museum and Science Center, the Strassenburg Planetarium and the Strong Museum, where children of all ages can explore and learn. Although it is too early in our planning to share who might be speaking, we've seen research that really intrigues us. We started talking about butterflies, beehives, arboretums, alien life, solar sails, laser lab for energetics, patents and data science, the birth and death of stars, of course, COVID and virus research, Great Lakes research, geology of upstate New York, ice cores, climate change, and more. So we'll try not to duplicate what we've heard about in this boot camp and uh, previous ones, uh, but I think we have a lot to share. 
So I'll be working with some of the upstate New York science librarians. We have a very informal network. We meet once a year to share stories and learn from each other. We also have a nice email listserv. So if you're interested in learning more about Rochester science and helping us plan, please consider joining our planning committee. Have a great uh, rest of your year and it was nice being there at this boot camp. Bye for now. Okay, thank you. And thank you for sharing a little bit about the area. Um, does anybody have any questions for uh, the Rochester team while we have a few more minutes? As I have been on a number of planning groups over the years, it's really fun. Uh, and uh, yes, we could uh, get the links into chat. That would be good. Uh, I can ask. Uh, if we don't have access to them right now, we can send those uh, uh, out with the email for evaluations. Um, so yes, having planned the uh, a number of boot camps over the years, it's a very fun, and you get to learn a lot about an institution that you don't work at. So definitely. Uh, you don't have to work in that region. I've helped with boot camps at a number of institutions. So if you, even if you're at uh, in California, and if you're interested, uh, please reach out and say that you're interested. Uh, the final words I will say is that I think, uh, given that we had to go online, uh, I think we had a really good boot camp this year. We had a good uh, variety of topics and um, hopefully uh, at some point in the near future we will be able to have a um, revisit to Ohio State I'm hoping so you can see some of these facilities uh, in person but I highly encourage everybody to continue looking at the options uh, for getting involved at future boot camps and there are other regional boot camps as well so if you're not from the Great Lakes region, uh, there's probably a, a boot camp in various areas of the country that you can get involved in, but we definitely welcome you to continue with Great Lakes Boot Camp. Uh, if you want to uh, continue with us, you don't have to live in this region. Any final comments from anybody or any questions before we wrap up? Do we have a date for the 2022 yet? I do not believe so. Not okay. No, it's too soon. We haven't even met as a group yet. So we're gonna start meeting uh, later on. Uh, traditionally, it's in July, just to make sure that ALA and SLA are not uh, overlapping, but uh, that's not written in stone. Okay, so thank you everybody. And um, if you are interested uh, about the uh, Rochester, please reach out to Sue. And I, or you can also reach out to me if you have any questions about this, the, uh, this year's boot camp. Again, we will send out information when we have the um, uh, YouTube videos available for the presentation, the talks and the tours. And we will also uh, send out an evaluation to all the registrants uh, probably tomorrow. Thank everybody for joining us and have a good rest of your summer. <laughs>